Louisville at Clemson. This is an interesting one. Uh, Louisville heads to Death Valley, number two, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, Clemson is a seven-point favorite here. The total sits at 51.5, numbers at BetUS. And we'll pull up the uh, the stats here so that you can see what we're looking at. These numbers are over the last five weeks. Louisville has really come on strong here lately. Um, but let's look at some trends. Louisville is 0-5 against the spread in their last five against Clemson. Uh, Louisville is 4-0 and against the spread in their last four overall. They are 4-1 and against the spread in their last five against winning teams. Clemson, 7-2 and against the spread in their last nine against the ACC. However, this team at home almost always is overvalued. They are now 3-9 and against the spread in their last 12 at home. So, uh, just because they are at home does not necessarily mean that uh, they are a shoe-in to be able to cover that spread. Again, they're favored by seven here. Let's uh, let's take a look at what the actual numbers show us. Uh, the Louisville defense has played just lights out over the past five weeks. Just unreal. Number one in PPA per rush, number eight in rushing success rate. And then over on the passing side with their secondary uh, in the back seven, uh, they're, only, they're defending the pass 50% of the time. Um, they're number 25 in PPA per pass. They are number 53 in passing explosiveness allowed. They're number 66 in passing success rate. But Clemson is number 117 in that spot on offense. Havoc rate? Louisville causes havoc uh, number 17 in the country. Uh, Clemson's offensive line is, is number 44 at stopping it. But, it, I mean, this is just insane what Louisville has turned into on defense. Uh Normally, I would say that Clemson would have an advantage as far as the running game is concerned, but they certainly didn't show it against Notre Dame last week, and Louisville's numbers are better than what Notre Dame's were. You look at what Louisville's doing on offense. Obviously, they can throw the football because, you know, Malik Cunningham, really awesome. Um, but they don't throw it often. They're, they only throw the ball about 42% of the time. They're number 20 in PPA per pass. Uh, passing success rate is number 40. Passing explosiveness is number 30. Uh, Clemson's defense over the last five weeks has certainly gotten better against the pass. They're number four in PPA per pass, number 14 passing success rate allowed. I I look at this, the first thing that I notice uh, is points per scoring opportunity. Clemson's defense is number 18 as far as points allowed per scoring opportunity. Louisville's offense is number 60. On the other side, Clemson's offense over the last five weeks is number 112 in points per scoring opportunity. That's uh, drives inside the 40. Louisville's defense is number one in that spot. I know that the trends say that Louisville has not covered in five straight against Clemson. And I understand that Clemson, uh, this is a buyback spot because they look so putrid against Notre Dame, etc. But these numbers lead me to where I have to go with Louisville on this. I have to take the Cardinals plus the seven because they are playing uh, about as well as any team in the ACC if not, you know, a, a, an average top 25 team at this point, I, they didn't look good at the beginning of the year. That doesn't mean that a team cannot develop and turn into a good team by the end of the season. Scott Satterfield is doing an incredible coaching job here. Give me the Cardinals plus the seven. I, I think this is a pretty good football team. Um, Clemson, I you know, I've got some numbers that, that do like Clemson as far as full season stats are concerned. But when you look at the, the most recent numbers... Yikes! Like Clemson's got to figure something out here, because uh, they they looked bad last week. If they go off script this week, it's going to get ugly. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>